let's finish up our, our Chloropleth map here by making a few additional changes um, beyond that basic um, symbolization that I did in the last video. So I've got the arson um, levels by county, and then we talked about that there was some minus 999 or uh, undefined values. Right now those don't show up really well, and the state boundaries aren't really clear. So I'm going to do a couple things that make this a little bit uh, easier to interpret, kind of preparing for making my map. Uh, I've got a couple things. Notice I've got uh, the state boundary that's uh, behind there. So those 99 values are, are showing up as, as nothing, and I, I'm seeing through the state boundaries. So one of the things that I can do is I can just fill that in with a, uh, a light gray color. Uh, and so now those, and I could make a legend that included this entry that, that that's a minus 999 value. Uh, I might want to change the, also change the symbols for the outline. So notice uh, those reds, I'm really happy with that, but that gray outline is a little bit too dark and too thick. So I'm going to right click here and say um, properties for all symbols. And I can change the outline width and make it a little thinner. Actually, 0.4 is pretty thin. It's just showing up a little thicker on the screen. Uh, but I'm going to make that a little uh, less dark. Um, say OK and apply that. And now those boundaries show up a little bit better. I could also go in, I'm still not really happy with that. Um, I could also try actually getting rid of the boundaries altogether. And the county boundaries may not be that important for this map. So I could change the outline width to zero. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that didn't refresh. So I'm going to go down here to the refresh button and refresh that screen. It didn't work. All right, let's try that again. Go to properties. Uh, properties for all symbols. And change this outline width to zero. Okay, let's see if that worked this time. All right, again, hit refresh. And I like that a little bit better. That shows the pattern of arson levels a little bit better. The no data is showing up through through here is in gray. Um, but I've kind of lost some sense of where the states are. So I'm going to put some state boundaries over the top of this. Now, how I'm going to do that is I'm going to copy the state's boundary. I'm using it in the background, and I also want to use it in front, thinking about my layer cake here. So I'm going to right-click and copy that layer, uh, and then go to Layers, and then paste that. So right now I have a gray states layer on top of my crime. So let's change that so we can see through that and just have outlines. So I'm going to go to Properties. I'm still going to use a single symbol, but I'm going to say the fill color is nothing, and I'm going to put that 0.4 uh, as an outline width, and use this kind of darkish gray. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so now I get my states, uh, and I've got uh, really clear arson uh, symbols in the background, and the no data showing through in the back. And I might want to mess with that gray, that gray still a little dark, but I can see how I can use multiple um, kind of a sandwich here at different layers to effectively show where places are and the theme that I'm interested in. So I think I'd be ready to make my map and my legend for this.